Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of uh, Veeam Backup and Replication version 12 Tips and Tricks. Today I wanted to show you how you can add a, uh, a cluster, so a Hyper-V cluster to Veeam Backup and Replication. So first of all, let's start with the basic thing which is authentication that is going to be needed on all of your Hyper-V servers in order to add the cluster to Veeam. So if you have like two servers you can do it manually. Uh, of course if you have quite a lot of different servers I suggest doing it by uh, group policy. Thanks to that you will be able to uh, install uh, the sufficient authentication and rights and privileges for and create a specific account that will uh, authenticate uh, while you're adding your cluster to uh, Veeam. Okay, so first of all, let's take a look upon the uh, Active Directory. So, as you can see, I have two uh, users. I have a user called Veeam IDM that I have used in a previous video when I was adding my Hyper-V to Veeam I was using the authentication of uh, this account and this account is of course a uh, member of uh, administrators and domain admins as well and uh, I have created a group that is called Veeam admins and we, if we check the properties of this group this group uh, inside has uh, the Veeam IDM user only, so this user is inside this group, and this group is a member of administrators. So this is crucial if you want to use uh, GPO to create uh, this Veeam IDM user on all of your uh, Hyper-V Hyper servers for authentication. Which we are gonna do, that's why the group is uh, created here. Okay, so now let's take a look upon a uh, group policy. So I have a group policy, as you can see, that is attached to my Hyper-V Hyper servers. And if we take a look inside the group policy, it basically looks uh, like this. So you need to go to computer configuration, policies, windows settings, security settings, restricted groups. Then you need to add a group. You will be asked to uh, specify the group. I added the group that I just shown, which is Veeam admins. And if we go to properties, this box is going to appear and you need to uh, specify uh, that this group is a a member of administrators so you need to press add you need to browse and you need to pick administrators here like I did thanks to that this group is going to be authenticated through administrative privileges okay so basically now uh, this GPO is being has been created and it has been attached to the Hyper-V Hyper servers so all that remains is just to do a GP update force. So now let's actually go to the Hyper-V. Of course you can force uh, the GP update, GP update force uh, from the domain if you wish. I'm just going to do it here manually. Now I'm going to jump to the other one. Since this is only a test environment, I have only two of them. If you have more, I suggest doing it through PowerShell. Of course, through scripts or something. But for the purpose of this test, we're gonna do it manually. 
Okay, so another thing, of course, this is my Hyper-V cluster, as you can see. I got like uh, two nodes, which is Hypervisor and Hyper-V2, uh, so two, mm, two Hyper-Vs connected. I have a disk connected to them, of course, through iSCSI, which, uh, well, owner node is Hyper-V2 at this moment. And the network here, just one basic network which is, uh, if we take a look, it's uh, for clients and for for nodes as well. So if you want to restrict the, the network in the uh, cluster, you can always do it here as well. Okay. So we got the cluster and we should also check if uh, the accounts has been, have been created through GPO that we just set. So I don't, I'm just gonna do Just gonna restart everything here. As well. I'm gonna close this. I'll be back in a moment once the restart has finished okay so let's check first let's check on my first hyper-v server so I'm just gonna add here let's go to groups and let's go to administrators we're gonna go to properties and as you can see, uh, the account of uh, Vim admins has been added. So the, the group with the account inside has been added uh, through GPO uh, to one server. And let's check the other server as well, just to be sure. So local users and groups. Let's check here as well. And of course, it's added here as well. So we are set. Now we can proceed with Vim and adding our cluster. Okay, so now we are in Vim. As you can see, I have a standalone a hypervisor added. So one Hyper-V host from the Vim video. And now we're gonna add the cluster. So just gonna use IP address of the cluster okay and now we're gonna choose uh, Vim ADM Okay, so as you can see, uh, we have uh, almost added our Hyper-V cluster. These are two nodes that are a part of the cluster. So I'm just gonna apply. Okay, so now starting infrastructure item update process. So this process is going to take a little bit of time. So I think I'm just going to pause the video because I'm not going to keep you guys around for that long.
and when it's done I'm going to unpause the video and we're going to commence with finishing this this uh, adding so as you can see it's deploying installer service right now so I will be back sh shortly okay so as you can see both servers has been verified and here in the, our Hyper-V we got Hyper-V clusters and here, here is our cluster in Veeam need to wait a moment because it's loading and there we go we got both our hypervisors hypervisor servers okay so basically this is how you add a hyper-v cluster to Veeam as always like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one